is the first day after our horses came home. We're gonna shoot a morning routine. We don't even know what our routine is yet, <laughs> but Toby and I are gonna do it. You have to listen to me. <laughs> yeah. Because I have stuff planned out. You have stuff planned out? We feed them. I put honey in our stall to eat. And then I put Willow a Chino and then we bring Storm out and then we put honey back out. Okay, I did not catch any of that. Okay, so you guys know Sam and Sophie usually do morning chores. I told Sam, stay in bed, sleep in as long as you want. And Sophie and I will do chores today because it's only three steps from our house. <laughs> and because I'm excited to see our horses. So let's go see them. I think it's the same distance because we don't have to go up and down hills. So if you watched our nighttime routine, then this is just basically that, but in reverse. We left all the doors open last night, so it'll be nice and cool in here. Today's job, Hi. I have so many plans for today. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> They're all here. <laughs> and there's lots of poop in the sand. Hi, girls. All right, we're going to let Sophie lead because she knows what to do. She knows, like, but well, they're kind of visiting. So Penny doesn't love any other horse ever. If she's gonna love a, ho if there's any horse in this world that she loves, it's him. And I'm praying for a day they're back together again. Here, give me storms. Where are storms? In my hand. Oh. <laughs> wow, Chino, you ate all that hay and you pooed. He's just staring at his girl. He's like, I don't care about food. Penny's like, I don't care about his, and my food. Well, she cares about her food. I want to see how he did in this stall. Did you like it, Storm? He <laughs> didn't eat much of his hay, pooped in it, drank some water, laid down. I see some, some shavings in his tail. We'll get him more shavings today. How was it? Chino, eat your food, man. So, like I said, this is going to be opened up eventually. We're just going to, like, increase the horse's time on grass slowly because I don't want them to go from, like, 12 hours to 24 hours just like that. Yeah, you're... Just let her stand right out here. I can even close this door. Oh, if she'll go to her food... Yeah, that's your food. We'll put stalls, we'll put mats in there today. We have a lot to do still. She can't get out from there while it's hungry. Oh yeah, she can't get out from here. What the heck? And if she gets out, she'll just be in her normal field. Yeah, like even if I she did. I should open that while I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess, because they're not gonna run out and leave um, their food. Watch, honey. Yeah. <laughs> honey, what are you doing? Honey is such a honey. Hi, handsome. You settled down. So we were watching them on the cameras last night. Everybody seemed happy. Everybody seemed fine. We tried to keep our routine exactly the same as we did at the old place. I love those doors. I hate them. Oh my gosh, they're stunning. Uh-oh. What's happening? Wait a minute. This is not, you get back in there and eat your food. Get back in there. I have to close her in. Oh, storm. No. Get your face away from her butt. That, my friends, is why they put bars on the doors. <laughs> why did I do that? She let Willow out. Willow goes with Chino now. She's coming. She's coming. We know you don't want to be alone. Oh. You could probably go out. See, if I had a hook here and I had your uh, your rope, I could probably lead you out. So being able to do this, I'm just gonna use pennies. Um, like being able to come out here and see what we need, <laughs> it's gonna help. So we definitely need our, a hook on Storm's door. Sophie can't catch Willow now. Storm. Nope, we're not going that way. This is the house of many gates. You'll get, you'll get used to it. Should I let Storm out? <laughs> or not yet? Not yet. Okay, because he doesn't, isn't in a field with, with Willow. So it won't go bad. It won't go well. 
Storm came right into this farm and put his butt up against that wood wall and just started scratching. Wait, Storm, we gotta wait for Sophie. So your plan did not go to plan. Oh, my brain. <laughs> Our brains are still sleeping. It's 7 a.m. Poor Willow. She just wants to be with her girls, and they will be. So I've been explaining this to people, but this is going to be their winter field. So once rainy season happens in just a couple of weeks, <laughs> and just a so excited too. <laughs> I know, poor thing. So once rainy season happens, um, the horses will trample this to death, especially right here. Um, and there will probably be like a little bit of grass down there, but but she's still there. Uh-oh, I lost honey. Oh, crap. Don't ever leave me in charge. <sighs> Even though he tries to herd Gracie, she's his best friend. And you know what's weird? They have the same personality. Oh, so she just went out into that little area out there? She's like, I can Come on, you can go free and have grass now, little <laughs> mini. He doesn't really push Penny around. They're both leaders in their own way. She's she's like a standoffish, leave me alone leader, and he's a I'm the boss of you. <laughs> kind of. Uh oh, Penny must be coming into heat because this doesn't ever happen. <laughs> Penny does not get close to horses. <laughs> and Storm always leaves her alone. So something's going on. About you I like. About you I like. You're crazy for saying Interesting story. People have been suggesting that we use this room for a wash doll. And the flooring, like when this stuff gets wet, it's a nuisance. It gets stuck on everything. It is annoying but then someone today said put mats out here and I was thinking oh my gosh I don't know how that would be for winter like in snow and and stuff oh, no I love the idea so we could put cross rails out here or we could put cross ties out here we could literally make this into the coolest wash doll ever it would be in out of the sun the hose is here we could put a shelf up there and put all of our shampoos and all of our stuff out there for summer like this could be our summer like, and our horses, I think, would love it. Anyway, it's definitely something that I think we can do. I need to get all this stuff out of here. And that's going to be a job that I am working on. I absolutely am working on this. Like, I haven't been for the few, last few days, but I'm going to get it all out. All right, so our morning routine also consists of cleaning up the barn, cleaning up the stalls. There's a lot of poop everywhere. Getting grain ready for tonight. Throwing hay for these two. Um, but I'm not going to show all that because you guys know what that looks like because we have more morning chores to do. Horses are not our only chore in the morning. So we're going to do all those things and then we're going to show you our next step. I do want to say that even though the horses are home, this barn is not by any means finished. We have like, I want to put up some stands or some shelving and some hooks so that everything is within reach. Like Sophie has her bag over there and it works out perfect there. Holy heck, it is hot today, you guys. Anyway, I want to do all, I want to get it all set up so that it looks like a barn. Step two in ch morning chores is letting our goats out, but apparently they got out in the night regardless. Sophie did it up. I know these Careful. vines, these vines will trip you. So clearly they don't need to be locked up at night. They were watching us with the horses. Okay. They're like, oh, I see you there. Ellie, be careful. <laughs> yeah, Ellie, don't go near them. Ellie, I tried to leave her in the house. She is so tiny, she can sneak right out. Like. We have a whole routine of how we keep Ellie in the house when we don't want her out here. Easy, <laughs> She's change. right, staying right with me though. Because the last time she got trampled. She didn't get trampled, she got charged. Even though your dog's acting like Because dog. of Miss Tilly. Tilly and Rosie. Tilly and Rosie. Oh my god. <laughs> Tilly looked at Ellie. So I don't know Ellie ran. how they got out, but they got out. Hopefully the cat didn't. Come on, Ellie. I think she went back to the house, under the fence. Ellie's, Ellie's gone. 
Hopefully, go look and make sure. Ellie! Because they seem very suspiciously interested. I feel bad I abandoned Ellie. Oh, there you are. Such a good prince. You're such a good boy. So, see how good he is? He like runs free in the barn all day, all night. And then during the day when we have the doors open, we leave him in here. <laughs> we make sure he has lots of food, lots of water. And every time we come down to uh, do the goats, which is often, um, I come down here like 30 times a day. Yeah, we come down here like 30 times a day. But when we do come down, we come and we visit him. We spend time with him. We give him treats. Today's not my day. Today's not my day either. I'm grumpy. <laughs> Sorry, Sophie. <laughs> So we come and we visit Ollie and we he make sure he has lots of food and water too. and he's got good, he's all good. Yeah, it's lots of scratches. He's, like he's shedding. We should get a brush and brush him. He'd probably really love it. Everyone who meets this cat loves him. Everybody, like, and he was never like that before. So what I wanted to say is that we moved him from the other barn where the dogs are always running in and out to down here. And he is obsessed. He loves this barn. He's so much more confident. He runs free all night long, stays in here during the day. I might have to get a fan today. It's hot. But this barn is way, way cooler than the other barn. He's so much happier down here too. So much happier. And like someone said, um, he'll take care of like all the rodents and stuff down in this barn. And then Ellie will take care of the rodents up in the other barn. Oh, goodness. Did you tie this in a knot? What the heck did you do? I tied it in a knot. Well, you're gonna have to go out there and get that open. Because I do not know what you did. Grab the scissors. <laughs> There's no scissors in this barn. We are gonna make like a first aid kit for this barn or a kit of things we need. We're gonna get things to hang up down here. We have a lot of stuff that we have to do. Why did I tie it in <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you did did not work. To be honest, I think leaving them out, leaving that door open all night is probably a million times better than them trying to get through the door and hurting themselves. Do you want me to do it? See, it's not my good day. It's not my good day either. I don't know if you guys seen, can see Ellie, but she's on the other side of the gate. Ellie is afraid of nothing but goats. We give she doesn't them, even run from me anymore. Yeah, we give them little bits of grain to bring them close to us to make them some. friendly. <laughs> She's like, I know that when I'm held, I get grain. <laughs> Hi. She's like, give me some. You're my baby. She oh, she's food. so cute. We're really careful about how much grain we give the boy. He, he's the heaviest. Like he. He's gonna be neutered soon. He's gonna get fixed really, really no, soon. Ellie. Molly's, Ellie's out there. She came through. She's like, I need to get to my mom. I try not to bring Ellie down here because the goats think that she's put her on this side of the gate. Although the door's open. You're okay. Might I add that all these chores are done before we even have breakfast. Before we're even awake. Yesterday I noticed that Penny is definitely unsettled here. She doesn't understand fully like what's happening and she's nervous and she, if she hears me outside, she always puts her body somewhere where she's close and she can see me. So she often hangs out in this field or like no matter where I am, if I look out, she's close to me. Last on the list, we haven't even done like actual chores yet, like clean. I need to go have a drink first because it's hot. It's only gonna be hot later, hotter later though. There are a lot of things that we still have to finish on our on this area. And we're still making um, uh, room for our duck and goose. But everybody wants out in the morning. There you go. Everybody's got water and the eggs. Everybody's got food. Hello. Hi, Zoe. You know. Come here. Come here. Come here. Dude. Who? 
was that? All right, so she's gonna take them to their area. I use this trash can and a shovel and I just scoop out their shavings from the night before, their hay, their bedding from the night before, and then I dump it and it's so easy. These guys need water. Cleaning out the deck and the goose is so easy. I literally scoop it, three scoops and it's out, and then I dump it. I am going to get them fresh water, clean their water buckets for tonight. Also get baby chicken water. Also on the agenda today, we're gonna clean the, the duck pond, the little pool. I know that it can get dirtier than that and be okay for ducks, but I like it to be clean. I was paranoid. I was checking out up all, all night so on the camera. Look, and he's lying down. Oh, I wanted to see that so bad. I, I couldn't find honey Look though. Look at so Penny. Like, they love it. Willow's in the corner and Gracie's there. That looks honey. like honey. Oh, is that honey? Probably. Oh, I don't know. It looks can you get a picture of that and save it for me? That is uh, a picture. Oh, is it a picture? She, she's not laying down right now. I know, but I wanted to see them. Like, that's yeah. the only reason we kept that awful dirt in there is because... It was at... That's at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, Why I knew that, that they would love it. Like, I have TikToks coming out okay. soon where our horses are rolling in that dirt. Um, anyway, lots to do, more to see. Stick around, subscribe for more barn renovations because there's a lot of barn renovations coming up on our channel. We're going to make our tack room and that barn so user-friendly and so horse-friendly that you will be shocked. Uh, how much we've how much we've learned and how far we've come from the people who never had horses before and now we're setting up our barn so that our horses are the most comfortable they can be don't you know that you're beautiful